All right, so this is my new summer project. Not that I needed another one. Uh, it is a 17-foot uh, Grumman canoe. And yes, she's in pretty rough shape. Well, she looks like she's in pretty rough shape, but um, some adult didn't know what they had and painted it red. So we're going to strip the paint off of it, and we have a few repairs to make. We're going to have to form a piece of aluminum over the top here and make a new end cap. And um, for some reason they decided to line the outside with wood here. But that should come off nicely. Um, the first project really is going to be to get the red paint off of this and try to get the aluminum finish back and uh, just have sort of that aluminum rivet look, sort of like a World War II uh, airplane. And in fact the company did make World War II airplanes and using the stressed aluminum skin. And then after the war, decided to uh, use the technology to make canoes. These things are legendary for their toughness and stability. Uh, they catch a little bit of wind because they, are, they do ride high in the water and they are a bit of a dog to paddle for speed, but they're stable and I thought this would be an excellent canoe. It's pretty big, like I said, it's 17 feet long. Um, it's got a huge capacity. You can fit three people in with lots of gear, so. I think we'll do a few canoe trips with this, maybe a few overnighters, maybe a few even longer than that with the guys. So here's the other side of the canoe and it's pretty much the same. Actually this side is uh, pretty good shape. Uh, what I'm going to do right now is strip the paint off of the badge. I'll just walk up to that. And you can't see it because it's the contrast. All right, so there's gonna be a little bit of motion blur on this frame here, but what I'm trying to do is uh, I put some paint stripper on this and now I'm just trying to uh, use the uh, 800 grit sandpaper to, uh, whoa. Just trying to use the 800 grit sandpaper here to uh, clean up the emblem. Alright, so what I was able to do with some paint stripper and some uh, 800 grit wet sandpaper is um, get the crud off the uh, front badge. Now, a considerable amount of it is worn and aged and smoothed over, but I can make out the serial number uh, and I've got the Grumman aircraft uh, manufacturing, I think, on the uh, badge, so that's kind of cool. And uh, well, anyway, just leads me to think that this is going to be a successful project. All right, so uh, this nasty red paint here, we're just going to, yeah, it strips off real nice and easy. And the aluminum underneath, it's in quite good shape. So I just put a, a gel paint stripper on that and uh, yeah, that should lift off nicely. It's only been on there for a few minutes and it's supposed to be on for 15. And as you can see, this uh, cheap layer of paint's just peeling back nicely. So what I do, what I'll do is when I get this thing home, is I'll give it a good coating of this stuff, and then just start scraping it. And then there's little scrapes and nicks in this here. So what I'm going to do is just uh, try out some uh, wet sanding on the uh, aluminum and some uh, areas where you're not going to see it too much, and see what works best. But I'm going to start with 800 grit wet sand paper, and then uh, and then see where that takes me. All right, so I got a nice little spot here, and it's below the water line, so um, I'm just going to uh, just see what the uh, 800 grit paper does to it. Now there's a little bit of the paint mixed into it, but that's all right. It's going to get a nice little coat of paint stripper through the whole boat anyway, so. And a little slurry from the sandpaper, and the uh, paint is uh, frankly going to be all right. So I'm just building up a little slurry and then 
sanding for effect, and then I'm just going to straighten my grain out a little bit. Let's take a look. Yeah, that seems to bring out exactly what I'm looking for. Um, obviously, it's not an aggressive enough grit to take the scratches out of this from the years of use. But frankly, this canoe is probably as old as I am, and I'm not going to try to hide any of it. But what I want to do is just sort of give it the right look. Uh, kind of like a uh, float plane pontoon, I suppose.